Hey there YouTube, how's it going? Today I'm back with another video in which I want to show you this app called Kin Screen for Android. So Kin Screen runs as a background process for your Android device and determines when to turn the screen on and off based on some values from the proximity and motion sensors from your Android phone. For example, if you hover over the proximity sensor for a while, the display turns off. If the screen is on and you wave over the proximity sensor, it turns the screen on. And lastly, the most important one, it keeps your device screen on while you're moving the device. So you don't need to keep pressing on your device when it dims to turn off. So I find this app really useful, especially that it's free on the Play Store. Some of you might have these features from your Samsung device or your LG device, but I find this lacking on a Nexus or Motorola phone, and this is the perfect replacement for it. Now, this app is free on the Play Store. There's also in-app purchases, but they're not really necessary for the app to work correctly. So by buying premium to an in-app purchase, uh, it lets you change some default values from the app from when to change uh, the screen to turn on or off. But I find the default values to be very balanced and you don't really need to buy the pro version if you don't want to. Now I've used this app on my Nexus 6 for a while now and I find that the battery isn't really affected by the app at all. Now of course this is going to be different from different devices and different app configurations, but for me this doesn't have a battery problem at all. Now you can see the interface is really simple, you have a toggle at the top to turn this thing on and off, you have a motion, proximity and angle for your device uh, information, you can calibrate the motion sensor, and then you have toggles or check marks for every option that you want to use. For options, you can turn the screen on by waving over the proximity sensor for your phone, which is usually located at the top near your camera, to turn the screen on while the screen is off, and you can turn this off after 60 minutes to preserve battery. While you're using the device, you can set options to keep the screen on by motion or by waving over the proximity sensor or while you have it tilted more than 50 degrees. So this is useful if you have it on the table, it's going to turn off, but if you hold it in hand more than 50 degrees, it's going to stay on. You can also make your display stay on while you're in a call or while you're charging it, but I do not recommend this because of battery. To turn the screen off automatically, you can hover over the proximity sensor for 10 seconds, which is really useful if you put your phone in the pocket with the screen on, it's going to turn off after 10 seconds. You can also set it to not turn the screen off while it's in landscape mode, while for example watching a YouTube video in case you accidentally hover over the proximity sensor. And one of the last options is to turn the screen off after you kept it on for 30 minutes, and I find this particularly useful if you want to save a lot more battery, just in case anything is keeping the phone from turning off. So yeah, this app is very easy to use, you want to mess around with the settings and see what fits you best, and again, if you want to change any of the timings, you have to pay for the Pro version, which I don't find a need to, but it's an option anyway. So yeah, that was it. It's a really simple app. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. See you next time.